What's up guys, Dave here from Knives, Gadgets, and more, and today we're going to compare these two knives. Alright guys, so on the table we have the Ifengro EF335 and the Gonzo Firebird G720. And I think this is going to be a really good comparison because these are two very affordable knives. They're both large knives. And yeah, I just think this is a really cool comparison because of the similar price points and sizes of these two blades. So all that being said, we're going to compare these two today. We're going to compare several different characteristics that they have. And then at the very end of this comparison, I'll tell you which of these two I actually prefer. Now let's start by talking about the blade steel that you get. And we'll begin with the EF335. So the Ethan Grow 335. I saw this knife on Amazon, it was super affordable, and that made it interesting to me. Now the blade steel that you get on this knife is D2. And I like D2 steel, especially on these affordable knives. I think it's an awesome knife steel. It's super tough, super strong. Not the best at resisting corrosion, so keep some oil on it. I live in the Vegas desert, so it's never really been a problem for me. But put a little oil on it, should be fine. It's a great knife steel, very strong, holds an edge well. And yeah, I, I really like D2 steel on these affordable knives. Now the steel that comes on the G720 from Gonzo is 440C. And 440C is, it's okay, it's not bad. I don't know if you can see it right there on the blade. Um, it's good, it uh, resists corrosion really well. It holds an edge pretty well. It is softer than D2, but yeah, I think it's okay considering the amount of money that I paid for this knife, so not bad. Out of the two, which is going to be better, the D2 or the 440C? My pick is going to be the D2. It's going to hold its edge longer. Just make sure you keep some oil on it and it should be fine. But there's always a give and take. So even though my pick is the D2, keep in mind that the 440C will be um, a little easier and quicker to sharpen. I say the winner is the D2 steel. I don't know if you agree. Let me know if you agree or not in the comments below. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the blade shape. So on the EF335, I don't know if you'd call that a spear point or a drop point. It's a classic looking blade shape. I think it looks awesome, looks sleek. It is an effective cutter. This is a large knife and you can see right there, I mean the blade is pretty thick. But yeah, I really like the blade that comes on this knife. I think it's... Um, I think it looks very good and it performs. It's a good cutter. That being said, I also really like the blade that comes on this one. It's kind of a classic drop point, but it's nice and broad the whole way through and it's super thick as well, which I think is cool. So yeah, great blade shape on the G720 as well. Out of the two, which do I prefer? Well, just based on the looks, I'm gonna give the win to the Gonzo G720. I really like that classic broad drop point. I think it's really cool. I think this one's really cool too, but I don't know. There's just something about the, the way this knife looks, especially along with the way the handle looks that really draws me to the aesthetics of this knife. So winner in this category is G720. All right, now let's talk about the handles, the scales. The scales that come on the EF335 are G10. And G10 is one of my favorite handle materials. It's awesome. And this handle design is very, very good. You do have some jimping at the top and holding it in hand, it is very comfortable. There is a little bit of texturing on the G10 so you can get a good hold of this knife. And yeah, it's very ergonomic, fills your hands in the right places and it feels great. I really like it. You can choke up on this knife. There's a finger choil up here. And yeah, you've got a lot of real estate to grip this knife. Um, it also has a landry loop at the bottom here, and when you're looking at the thickness, it's pretty chunky. So that's going to be something you notice if you carry this around in your pocket. But yeah, overall, I really like the grip on this knife. It's very comfortable and gives you a great hold on the knife when you're using it. Now, as for the Gonzo G720, this is also a great grip in my opinion. It's also made of G10, which again, is a material that I really like. And this one has texturing kind of horizontal lines that are unevenly spaced. I think it looks cool. Comes in different colors aside from this as well, but I opted for the black here. There is a little bit of jimping up here, not quite as much as with the EF335. 
but you've got a little bit there. And overall, this handle is very, very comfortable. You can see how it's shaped, feels great in your hand, gives you a great grip on the knife. You do have a lanyard loop if you wanna use that. And when you look at the thinness, it is pretty chunky as well. Both of these knives are large, chunky knives. That's part of what makes this a great comparison. They're both affordable, large, chunky knives. <laughs> But yeah, I think the handle's great on this knife. I love the way it looks. That's part of what draws me to this, this knife overall, and I think it's a great grip. So out of the two, which is gonna win in the handle and scales category? Based on looks alone, I'm just gonna give it to the Gonzo G720. I really love the way this knife looks. Both of them feel great in hand, so the looks is gonna be the tiebreaker. For me. All right, the next feature we're gonna talk about is the locking mechanism. So on the EF335, you can see it's a liner lock. So, closes up. And then when you want to deploy this knife, you have thumb studs right here on both sides, which are pretty large, chunky, and textured. And you also have a flipper. So you can use the thumb studs if you want, but I always prefer to use flippers, and you've got a little texture right there, and this one snaps right out. Oh yeah, it's pretty awesome. The uh, deployment on this knife is very, very good. It's buttery smooth, and it was kind of surprising to me when I got it, just how smooth it deployed from the flipper, because it's a large knife, and yeah, it just feels great. I really like the deployment that you get on this knife. Super smooth, super fun, super easy. I can fidget with it all day long <laughs> because I'm a weirdo, but yeah. Really like the deployment on this blade. Snaps out smooth and easy, which is what I'm always looking for. No wiggle, and there's the alignment. Pretty good. Ah, love it. All right, now, the locking mechanism that comes on the Gonzo G720 is a fake axis lock. So the axis lock is from Benchmade, but there's other companies that copy it, and this is one of the copies. It's a great locking system, very strong, very cool, and it's really cool that it comes on a knife that's so affordable, because Benchmades can kind of get a little pricey sometimes. So really cool that this one has a fake axis lock, and to close it, you just pull down, and close and then to deploy you have thumb studs on both sides and the deployment on this knife is smooth but it's very stiff so there's lots of guys out there with access locks and they just flick them open super easy I'm not that great at doing it anyway but even if I was it, the springs on this knife are super stiff, which is great for safety, but it makes deploying the blade a little bit tougher, a little bit slower, and yeah, you can't really flick this knife open. You can, you can easily deploy it with one hand, so that's not an issue, but for the fidget factor, for the cool factor, the fun factor, it's a little more boring. Whereas this one, I'm just sitting here all day long, flicking it open. So let's check the wiggle also. Nothing, there's the alignment right there. Pretty good. All right, so when it comes to the locking mechanism and blade deployment, it's kind of a tough one on this one because this one's just a simple liner lock, which isn't exciting. And this one's an axis lock, which is really cool. But because this one is so, it's smooth, but it's just, slow and this one is buttery smooth and easy I prefer the EF 335 here so yeah it's gonna win when it comes to deployment it's no contest really it's shocking how fun this knife is for such an affordable knife I really like it I, I was pleasantly surprised when I opened this knife up and found that it deployed so, so well. And it also has thumb studs. So if you want to deploy it slowly, you can do that. But for me, I love the flippers. They're super fun. And this is a great one for a really affordable price. All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna talk about are the clips. So with the G720, we have kind of a simple clip here. It is 
kind of a deep carry. It definitely goes all the way to the bottom of the scales, the hilt or whatever you call it. I'm just a dude, I'm no expert. But anyway, um, it's a good clip, it's a simple clip. The screw that holds it in, I think, is a glass breaker. And let's close the blade. It sets you up for tip-up carry when you have it in your pocket. It doesn't appear to be easily swappable to the other side. I'm sure there's someone out there who could do it, but for me, I'm not that handy, and I, just looking at it off the top of my head, I don't know how I would swap it if if that's something I wanted to do. But if you don't want to swap it, then it's pretty standard, and yeah, it's it's a fine clip for a large folder like this. The clip that comes on the EF335 is right here, and it kind of looks like <laughs> just a piece of sheet metal or something. It's a standard clip, so not deep carry. And you can see there, there's a lot of the knife that sticks up past the clip. And I wanna show you what both of these knives look like when you're carrying them around in your pocket. So let me do that now. <laughs> so yeah, so there's the difference huge difference between these two. These are both large, chunky knives, but because the clip design is more deep carry on the Gonzo G720, it disappears in your pocket. And then with the Ethan Grow EF335, you've got like an inch of the knife sticking up. Now, is that a big deal? For me, it's not. Um, it would probably depend on the context of where I was carrying. But yeah, for a standard clip, that's, that's actually a lot that's sticking out. On top of that, the clip on the G720 is raised a little bit at the tip, and that just makes it quicker and easier to clip onto your pocket. Whereas this one sits a little flatter, and I think it's a little stiffer too, and you have to kind of open it up a little bit to get it on there. Now again, both of these are large, chunky knives, and you can carry both of them around. I've carried both of them around. But I think the winner in terms of clip and carry has to be the Gonzo G720, because you can see right here, I mean, it just disappears, it's easier to clip on, and um, yeah, you've got a lot more. <laughs> it's kind of a, <laughs> it is kind of a lot that sticks up on the EF335. So I think it would improve this knife quite a bit if this was a deep carry, even starting right here, because then you just have a little bit sticking up. But on the flip side of that, this knife is super fast and easy to take out because you have so much already out of your pocket. So it's always a give and take. There's advantages and disadvantages both ways. But for me, I prefer the deep carry option when I can get it. So I think the winner here is gonna be the G720. Now again, both of these are large, chunky knives, but I do want to give you just an eyeball comparison in terms of size. And with the blades closed, you can see that the Ethan Grow EF335 is the larger knife. And then there's kind of a view of when the blades are deployed. So yeah, again, the Even grows a larger knife just by a little bit. They're both big knives and they both have pretty thick blades too. That being said, if you're looking for a large knife that's more compact, which sounds weird, um, I think the G720 is a little bit more compact and easier to carry, especially because of the way the clip is designed. All right guys, and that brings us to the end of this comparison. And I promised you at the beginning that I would tell you which of these two I prefer. Now, I do like both of these knives. And like I said before, both of them are very, very affordable knives that I just bought off Amazon. But if I had to choose one, I think my favorite is gonna be the EF335. Why is that one gonna be my favorite? Well, when it comes to just looks, I think I like the, the Firebird G720 more. They're both large folding knives, they're both good cutters, they're both strong knives, but the thing that I just can't get over is how smooth this knife deploys. It's just buttery smooth, it was super shocking to me. That makes this knife really, really fun, and yeah, that smooth deployment is, uh, 
is the reason why I'm gonna pick it as the winner for me. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments below. Now I do have to say that I still think this is a great knife and I'm glad I bought it. I like the fake access lock. I think that's a really cool feature for an affordable knife, but uh, it's just so boring to deploy this knife. <laughs> that might be the stupidest thing in the world to you, but it's really boring to me. Now when it's deployed, this is a great knife to use. I use this knife all the time on boxes and stuff like that, but yeah, I like the action. <laughs> I like to have some action, and this one, it flicks right open. It's also a strong, large knife. Great for boxes and stuff like that. So yeah, this is gonna be my pick out of the two. But yeah, these are both great little knives. And in the end, I do think that they're both awesome and I'm glad that I bought both of them. Now, if you're interested in either of these knives, I will leave links in the description below. Those are affiliate links and they do help out the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.